I will tell you how the top load washing machine drain circuit works with a diagram and how to fix it if it has a drain problem due to a faulty circuit. Before working on this circuit board, you should know where the drain pump wire connection is installed in the circuit board. You can see this connector here with some wire on it, and some connections with wires on this connector as well. This is the main supply of the circuit board. You will have to find which wires between them are of the drain pump. Here the wires are of different color codes, and when we go to the back of this washing machine, the wiring colors on this connector are different. And surprisingly, the wire colors beneath this connector have also changed. So you have to find the drain pump wire well among these wires. And when I go down to the drain pump, the wiring color of the drain pump is again different. The wires coming from the top of the drain pump have different colors. So, you will have to find the correct colored wires for the drain pump. Because if you cannot find the wires of the drain pump, you won't be able to get the wires of the drain pump on the circuit board. And you won't be able to tell which area of the circuit board needs to be repaired. Now I will tell you about this circuit board. But before that, trace the drain pump wires. And let me explain to you why I am saying that again and again. The circuit board of the front load washing machines seems to be something like this. But finding the wires in these circuit boards is also important, which makes it easier to fix the circuit board with drain problem. But how? I will tell you that in the later section of this video. The circuit board of the top load washing machine is packed something like this. Nowadays, the circuit boards of the front load washing machine are also manufactured by the companies as of the top loaders. Most of the inverter washing machine circuit boards, a coat of silicon is put on these circuit boards. The back side of the circuit board is also packed. Now, I was stressing about tracing the correct wire because once you have identified the correct wire of the drain pump and which connector it plugs into, it will be easier for you to know where to cut the circuit board from the back to repair it. Now, I will explain to you what to fix in the circuit board, but before that, you should know that it depends on the circuit board you are repairing because the design of the circuit boards is different for different companies. Complete dip components are used in this circuit board. No SMD components are used in this circuit. But in this circuit board, most of the components are SMD. Just for controlling the motor, the dip package of Triac are used. The wire of the drain pump I found was attached to this connector. So, to fix the drain problem in the circuit board, I will cut this area of the circuit board from the back to get access to the components attached here. This is how we will be able to fix this circuit board. Now, I will tell you what component to fix in the circuit board through this diagram. It will help you to fix the problem. First, which wire was I finding? Let me tell you. This is the wire that I found. This wire in the circuit board is moving towards the triac. The live wire is attached directly to the drain pump. The neutral connection of the drain pump is turned on and off with the help of the switch in the circuit board. This triac is a switch. And to turn this triac on and off, a circuit is attached. It also has types. Let me explain this. The drain pump is directly turned on if you pass electricity through the washing machine. This means that the triac is short-circuited or, with it, the capacitor. Then, this would be considered a minor fault in the circuit board. But if the drain pump is turning on while you set the washing machine on the wash cycle mode, then let me explain what components could fail. If the ULN 2003 or Darlington array is connected between the triac, and it is possible that if you turn on the washing machine function, the microcontroller will pass signals to the ULN 2003. And if it is short-circuited, the wash cycle will keep working, but the drain pump will also turn on. These signals will pass through the gate of the triac. This switch will turn on, and the drain pump will eventually work on the wash cycle continuously. This is the first possibility of the problem. The second possibility could be that if no Darlington is between the triac and microcontroller, the microcontroller is directly attached to the triac and turns it on. Then, it is possible that the microcontroller is short-circuited. Why would the microcontroller be short-circuited? Because if you are using the machine in a different mode, the drain pump won't turn on. But as you select the wash mode, the pins would be connected internally or externally. This makes both the wash cycle and the drain pump turn on simultaneously. So you will have to check whether a helping component like ULN 2003 is connected, and with it, if any other minor component is also bad, then your circuit board will be fixed perfectly fine. But if the microcontroller is bad for any reason, then, it would be difficult to fix such a circuit board. You will have to install the same microcontroller as installed on the circuit board. Otherwise, you will have to replace the circuit board with a new one. I am tired now. You can buy me a coffee by visiting Patreon. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch the next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.